the law of attraction and asking and how your handwriting can help. I'm Fiona Mikaya and in the law of attraction you ask, believe and receive. So the first one is asking and asking may seem like a pretty simple thing to do but actually it depends how you ask as to how well you will receive what you're looking for, how clearly you ask and your handwriting can really help you do that. The first thing your handwriting can do is help you imagine or come up with what it is you want to ask and for that either imagination or intuition, they both work the same in this area, um, either of those can really help you decide what it is you want to ask for. And then clear thinking can help you ask for it in the clearest way so you will get what you're expecting to get. And to set goals, what is it you expect to get? What are you asking for? What are your goals? And the last one is that you ask with feeling. So even if you imagine it and even if you're clear and even if you have great goals, if you just ask for it in a cold way, nothing's going to happen. You have to ask for it with feeling. The law of attraction works on your emotions, on your feeling, on the energy that you are giving out as you feel. So by looking at how you show your feelings in your handwriting as well, that can help you activate the law of attraction more quickly. Any of these things, if you don't have them enough or you want more, you can add more to your writing. And that's the beauty of the handwriting. It can really help you get where you want to go by changing what you want to change. So the law of attraction and asking coming right up. The law of attraction states that you have to ask, believe, and then receive. In this video, you will learn how to include in your handwriting the traits that allow you to ask effectively. The four traits for effective asking are 1. Imagination 2. Intuition 3. Goal setting and 4. Feelings or emotion Here's how to identify them all from writing. The first trait is imagination. You have to be able to imagine your life different than it is. Imagine it with what you want added to it. Abstract imagination, which is coming up with ideas, shows in the upper loops of the letters B, F, H, K and L. The bigger the loop, the greater the imagination. So in that writing you'll see the F, the L, the H and the K. There isn't an F there but the F would have it too. Upper loops are abstract imagination or coming up with ideas. The second trait is that of intuition. And although imagination and intuition come from different sources, Either one can do the job of letting you see what you would like your life to look like. Intuition shows in gaps between the letters within script. The more gaps between the letters, the stronger the intuition. And there you'll see some text with lots of gaps between the letters within script. So this one has strong intuition. Note, however, if the writing is entirely printed, that is, with no connections between any of the letters, then intuition cannot be identified. The next trait is that of goal setting. To get what you want in life, you need to set your goals high enough to allow what you want to make its way in. Goal setting is shown in the height of the crossbar of the lower case T. The lower the crossbar, the lower the goals. The higher the crossbar, the higher the goals. So you'll see in the word two, there's a very high crossbar, it's right on the top, it's connected, it has to be touching. 
And then in word writing, it's semi, it's halfway up, so it's reasonably high. And in this last example, there are two very low crossbars. So either of the two on the left, the word to or the word writing, either of these two T's would do. And the last trait in asking is feeling or emotion. The law of attraction works not on your logic, but on your feelings. You have to be able to feel how it will feel to have received what you're asking for. So you have to ask with feeling. Feeling shows in two ways. One, how strongly and deeply a writer feels. And two, how much a writer will express whatever emotions he or she is feeling. For asking, the more important one is the depth of feeling. How much are they feeling? And that's shown in the heaviness of the writing. How heavily they press on the paper as they write. The one on the left is not very heavy at all, so that is not showing depth of feeling. The one on the right is very heavy, shows lots of depth of feeling. And how much the emotions will be shown is shown in the slant of the writing. So that one is very up and down, so there's not much emotion being expressed there at all. And that one is much farther to the right, so that writer will express their feelings very much. Now it's your turn. Which of the writing below shows which of the asking traits? And just to recap, these are imagination, intuition, goals, and feelings and emotion. So there's two samples of writing for you to look at. You can pause the video if you want and have a look and see if you can tell which of these four traits are in the writing. The answers will be at the end of this video. So that's it for the law of attraction asking. Imagination, abstract imagination, which shows in the upper loops on F, L, H, K. Intuition, which shows with gaps between letters within script. Goals, which show in high or moderately high T-bars. And feelings and emotion, which show in a far right slanting writing. That's it for practicalhandwritinganalysis.com. Write on. If you want to make changes to your writing, or if you just want to write out what you wish to manifest, journaling is the best way to go. The Law of Attraction Journal with inspirational quotes is a great tool to use. Each time you turn the page, you will find another quote to inspire you. Journal your way to attract what you want with the Law of Attraction Journal. There's a link below in the description box. Answers to the quiz. Which of the writing below shows which of the asking traits? Imagination shows in the right hand one, in the loops there on the H, the L and the F. Intuition shows in the left hand one, in the gaps between letters within script. And goals show in the right hand one where the T bars are all reasonably high. And the last one, feelings of emotion, also shows in the right hand one where the slant is quite far to the right. So intuition in the left hand one, imagination, goals, and feelings and emotion in the right hand one. How did you do?